Hey YouTube, it's Tell and Oz here. Today we're going to have a look at Rocat Power Grids running in Star Citizen. First things first though, make sure that the program is running in administrator mode. Now this is pretty easy to do, just navigate uh, to where the program's located, then right click on it, go to properties, compatibility, and just ensure that run this program as administrator is selected, apply and OK, and you're good to go. Now the next step is to uh, get ROCAP power grids running. So once it's set up, uh, it's up and running here. You can get it running on, I've got an Android device running this, a HTC One. So just go right ahead and connect to uh, power grids. Okay. Now, if you also want to try out this on uh, on a 8.1 computer, at the moment I've got it working on BlueStacks. Um, now BlueStacks is just an Android emulator. Uh, once you set this up, it's pretty straightforward. You just log in with your usual Google account, install the apps the same way you would on uh, on your phone, and you're up and running. So I've got Power Grid already installed on here. And come on, <laughs> there we go, right. Now I've got it in portrait mode in the window at the moment, and uh, we'll just make sure that's all the same. So basically you can see it's running at the same type of speed as, um, as the Android device, so that's all good. You'll find that the speed, the interface is exactly the same. If you've got an Android device, or Rocat also runs on iPads as well. Um, so far I've found no difference with this and, uh, you know, just running on one of those devices. So BlueStacks works pretty well. So you want to go ahead now and just minimize this and then just get Star Citizen running. Now I've got it just running off uh, a keypad, um, my Strike 7 keypad, which is good. So once you've logged in the Star Citizen, just go ahead and uh, launch it. Same process, nothing different here. So here we are in the, the hangar. I'll quickly just jump out of this so we can get into Arena Commando. And we'll just do a quick test in free flight mode. Um, Dying Star, quite like that, it's pretty map. So here we are, booted up in um, Arena Commander. So if I just toggle around, there's some power distribution. Now I've already installed uh, one of the members of the community at Star Citizen, a guy called Third, has done these really cool grids. Um, so I've installed his power grid and uh, his shields grid, but as you can see, basically, uh, power to shields, power to weapons. It works exactly as expected. Power to weapons, power balanced. And um, the same on with blue stacks. I'll just go back to power on here. Power to engines. Power balanced. Power to weapons and engines. So pretty cool. Power to weapons and shields. Now the only downside to blue stacks at the moment is if you uh, just go into tablet mode here and rotate, you'll see what happens in a sec. You see how it's off center. So you, in windowed mode, you can drag that and center it, and you'd be able to just go ahead and use it. Power to weapons and engines. Power to shields and engines. So that's pretty cool. If you do try and go full screen though, so full screen in landscape, it's just in one third of the screen on this 10.1 inch Asus transformer. Rotate it. And as you can see, it's cutting off the left hand side, which is a bit of a pain. 
So at the moment I've just left that in, uh, in windowed mode. Um, if I want full screen in portrait mode, um, I just mess around and drag this into the right spot. So you can see that the potential with power grids is pretty cool at the moment. Um, Star Citizen have got a companion app coming at some point uh, soon, trademark. Um, basically, you know, to weapons and shields. these type of things are, are cool for the, the time being. Um, and uh, you can have a lot of fun with it. So, as ROCAT, uh, this was one thing I did notice actually with BlueStacks. Um, unfortunately, with this grid, some of the graphics, some of the graphics are missing compared to the the Android app where you've still got shields port forward. You've still got the grid. Shields port out. So shields starboard. Third's been optimizing it for iPad and some other devices, but. Um, no one's really had a look at you know, Windows 8.1 stuff yet and running blue stacks, but um, the potential's there. And the next challenge for me is uh, I've already worked out blue stacks. You can only run one instance at a time. Um, you know, I'd love to have three three different grids running simultaneously on a screen like this. It would be pretty cool. So I'm going to look at Android SDK uh, and see if I can get it working through that instead. Um, Reading around online, that seems possible. So, uh, yeah, we'll take it from there. Thanks for watching. And if you like this video, hit the like button. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber already. And I'll see you in the next episode.